Maple County, where storms took over a neighborhood last month. Liz? I am live here in the Mountain Brook subdivision behind Pelham Road. You can see behind me all of the damage left behind by those August 9th massive rainfall. And tonight, the woman who lives right over here joins dozens of others to find out what the county's plan is to fix this problem. So before August 9th, this was not here? That's right. For 25 years, Mary Gentry enjoyed the peaceful flow of a creek in her backyard. Now she runs into this every time she steps out the door. There, that's how it got up. She remembers clearly when the rain started August 9th, and she remembers when it finally ended. I'll never forget uh, Greenville's finest coming out on Eagle Ridge. He said, Do you have a, a canoe? Or any kind of float. We have one of your neighbors is stranded and cannot get out of her house. That was an eye opening experience. Gentry's home suffered about $20,000 worth of damage from the six plus inches of rain. What God brings you to, He'll bring you through. Some of her neighbors weren't as lucky. But we're walking away with absolutely nothing. We lost everything. Grace Cantrell sent us these pictures from the home she's had to leave behind. It was absolutely the most terrifying thing that's ever happened to either of us. Cantrell says she had a $30,000 flood wall, but it collapsed in the storm. Many of those living in this area say they did not bother with flood insurance because their homes are considered outside the floodplain. You folks have been damaged. You've experienced it. Now the county is trying to figure out why this happened and how it can be prevented in the future. Neighbors are hoping for both prevention and compensation. So been here a long time, so we've been paying a lot of taxes. Mm -hmm. So let's just see something. Let's see something happen. We do know that this bridge behind me will be replaced. As for what else in this neighborhood will be fixed, it's not clear at this time. The county says crews are out here assessing the damage, and they should know more in the coming weeks. Liz Lohe, WYFF News 4.